Now that we have our fretboard radiused and our fretboard flat, and it's just about as perfect as we can get, we're going to put some holes in it because we now need to place our position markers on the fretboard and on the side of the bindings. The type of fret markers that you use is entirely up to you. There are a lot of different ones to use. There are some larger mother of pearl dots. There are slightly smaller dots. Uh, I believe these are four millimeter. I um, think the mother of pearl is maybe six millimeter. There are these little small plastic rods that you can insert and get a very, very small uh, but distinct fret marker. And I typically go for a smaller one. And so these little plastic dots is what I'm going to use. If I was doing uh, mother of pearl dots, this is what the layout would look like. So we would have fret marker dots at the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, two at the twelfth, then again at the fifteenth, seventeenth, and nineteenth. And then we would also have side fret markers to match these. But to me, this is a little too much on the face of the guitar. I want to see as many of these lines as I possibly can. I want to keep this uh, green really prominent. So I'm just going to use the same plastic dots I'm going to use on the side on the face. There's no reason you couldn't or shouldn't put those mother of pearl dots on the face of the fretboard. But uh, on this particular build, I really want to tone this down and have things uh, quite simple, plain, clean lines. If I was going to, I would mount those mother of pearl dots. I would use a brad point bit and drill down just far enough so that the mother of pearl was slightly proud. But I wouldn't want to do it so that the mother of pearl was sticking far enough up that I would have to sand it back and have it very, very thin. So how do I mark my fret markers? Well, piece of tape. I get one here at the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, twelfth, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. Going to mark my midpoint and I'm marking it on the tape so that I don't have to mark directly on the fretboard and worry about sanding out pencil lines that I might get a little too deep. Definitely don't want to do that. I've spent so much time on this fretboard leveling it so far, we really don't want to muck it up. Okay. Whoa. Now I'll put my center line on, just on the tape. Now here's an important point. Before you drill anything, double check your counts. I want one at the one, two, three, five, seven, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. All right, so my counts are good. Double check those. <laughs> and if you have, have somebody else around who can double check for you, that is even better. Now, after we've gotten our center line on here, there's two ways we can do this. We can just measure fret to fret and mark the center, or we can mark an X And where the X crosses is going to be our center. I'm going to give myself an X just to confirm that my center line is 
where I think it is. All right, all my points are crossing there. That's perfect. I'm going to continue that on the rest of these. X. This is a fretboard offcut that I'm going to do a test cut on. One thing that's important with this is to recess that bit into the drill quite a bit. That way not much is sticking out and we have a nice strong bit because we don't want to break it off. Also, if that bit is wobbling around, if it's flexing, it's going to give us kind of an oblong shape and it's not going to be a nice precise shape and it's going to look a little weird. So I want to drill this as straight up and down as possible. Only needs to go in maybe four or five millimeters. Wick some thin CA glue. Wipe up what doesn't go in. Nip this off just a millimeter above the hole so that if it crimps and gets uh, a little crimp shape to it, that that doesn't recede down into the fretboard and cause an odd shape that way. Okay. Is what I'm looking for. Very subtle, small, and does not kind of uh, go in your face. So that looks good to me. That's what I'm going to use. I like the way that that fits and the way that the drill bit is fitting. So I'm going to go with that. Okay, one, two, three, third fret on the X's. And if I didn't point out earlier, I am using a brad point bit that is going to give me a very precise start to the hole and it's going to wander um, much, much less, if at all. Hopefully not at all. That's the reason I'm using it. Using a center punch to pinpoint your locations will greatly increase your accuracy in each of these holes as well. We don't want to go all the way through the fretboard because then we are going to hit our truss rod. I'm going to drill all these holes and then I'm going to pull my tape off and then put my white plastic stick in uh, and then glue it because I don't want to glue this tape to the fretboard. And with the 12th, we're going to do something a little different. I have my center line dividing each side. And now what I need to do is divide each side into its own X.
Now I don't know why, but the camera mysteriously cut off the part where I actually put the plastic rod into the fretboard, but it's exactly like you saw me do the test piece at the very beginning of this. We insert the plastic rod, snip it off, dab some glue onto it, and wipe off the excess glue. And we do that for each one of these. After we snip it off, there'll be a little bit left sticking out, and we'll just come back in with the radius block and sand those flat. And I just want to drag this radius block over the top of that enough to get those plastic rods flat with the fretboard. I really don't want to bang up the fretboard at all. There are my finished dots. I'm very happy with those. I like the way that those look. Now for the uh, fret side markers. 